I think Interstellar is magnificently beautiful. I was not moved by the plot even a little bit. Marsh, I love you forever. And I was very sad about that because Christopher Nolan is one of the most beautiful aesthetic directors that I can think of. Nolan makes these absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful films, but um, the plot of Interstellar left me cold, 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 and I was very sad about that. The science behind Interstellar, I'm not, first of all, I'm not qualified to talk about the science behind Interstellar. My friend Neil deGrasse Tyson says that a lot of it's actually pretty good science. If you go to a higher dimension, it's not unrealistic to think that you step out of the time dimension and now you look at time as though we look at space. Even though some of the constructs are a little weird, like of a whole universe full of planets, why would the only habitable one be on the edge of a black hole? That's a reasonable question, but you know, movies are about extraordinary circumstances. I'll tell you what I loved about Interstellar was TARS. The robots in Interstellar, I want to see a whole movie about them. The blocking and awkward construction of the robots in Interstellar serves two purposes. One, it's monolithic, so it's a callback to 2001, which a lot of the movie is. That's totally understandable. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. But two, from a mechanical standpoint, if you can solve the balance problem, and you know, clearly the movie posits that they did solve the balance problem, you end up with a machine of surpassing simplicity with not a lot of things that can break off. It ends up being quite versatile because it can move itself using a very sophisticated sense of balance, but it doesn't have you know, hundreds and hundreds of actuators doing what our arms do. Trying to replicate this robotically, I've tried it, I've done it. It's a nightmare. But, you know, large things moving in opposition to each other, that's one high torque motor. And an extra actuator to be able to do something with some finer motor control, there's like seven motors in TARS as far as I could see. That is beautiful mechanical design. The less motors, the less actuators, the better. You know, what I, what I liked most about TARS was how, actually I thought it was one of the best written characters in the whole film. I thought the idea of being able to modify the humor and trust settings of a robot is brilliant. It posits a very, very uh, sophisticated artificial intelligence and pretty much exactly what I hope artificial intelligence would actually be like.